Hey YouTube, this is Marissa and today I have a very exciting first look for you guys. I am doing the first look for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks. I finally received mine in the mail today and I said, okay, let me go ahead and get this video up before I procrastinate or start playing in them or something and mess them up. So without further ado, if you're interested in seeing my first look on my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks, then stay tuned. And you guys, before I get started, I just wanted to say thumbs up or thumbs down or give me a comment in the description box and tell me how you like this makeup look. I know I tried to do something that was kind of bright but still vamp light because we're not yet into spring yet. It's still kind of cold, so I kind of tried to incorporate both looks together. So tell me if you like that or not or, or you know, should I keep it or ditch it. So, um, just a side note on that. So, let's just go ahead and get started with these swatches. So the first one that I picked up, well, first of all, I got a total of eight of them. And they look like this. <laughs> so yeah, um, they don't have these at Sephora. I know they have them on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website and some Macy's. I'm not exactly sure, but uh Unfortunately, I don't have a Macy's around me, so um, these come straight from the website. And I think they retail for $20 a piece, and there are 20 colors total. So, just want to give you a side note on that. So, I'm, just, I'm not going to go in, in any particular order. Like I said, I'm just going to pull. And the first one that I got is the color Vintage. Now, the packaging looks like this. The standard Anastasia Beverly Hills packaging with the gold writing on it and I'm just gonna pull out the pull them out the bottom and this is what the packaging looked like very standard and pretty clear let me see can I focus in and let you see looks like that <laughs> So the first one, this is called Vintage, and it's it's a very, very pretty purple color. It's a very, very pretty purple color. So I am just going to swatch this right on the back of my hand. And y'all, they are very, very pigmented, as you can see. Wait a minute. I don't think I'm even in focus people my color so and the next one that I have is this is an even deeper purple and this is in the color potion and it looks like this so that's the second one and I am going to swatch potion right beside vintage it's just a darker plummy almost look black color so I know that we are going into spring soon so this may not be spring appropriate for everybody but I think that the vampy lip just don't get old I think that these colors are very pretty especially on brown skin and I think that you can rock it with the, with the right um, lip pencil it'll still be pretty for spring so that is potion right there that's potion right there very very pretty I like it I think it's so cute I like it I think it's so pretty the next one that I have is the next one that I have is American doll and American doll looks so pretty in the bottle i'm just so so excited about trying it out that's the vintage american doll excuse me american doll and i'm just gonna swatch that color right beside potion and it looks like this very pretty right there really really like it that is a very pretty red color so I, I too think that is very brown girl friendly and I'm very interested and excited about trying it so I think this will be pretty paired up with a neutral 
um, smoky eye, kind of like a date night smoky eye, and you can pair this up with that and a pair of beautiful lashes, and you on about your business, honey. So the next one that I have is another dark one. Um, this one is in the color Sad Girl, and it looks like this. Sad girl is very, very pretty. I like it. I like sad girl. Sad girl looks beautiful. So I'm going to swatch that right beside American Doll. I don't know if you don't know by now. Maybe you can tell that I love the purple. The deep plum and purple shades. That sad girl right there. Very, very pretty. I like that as well. The next one that I have is... Now this one, uh, like I was saying in my last video about the lighter color lipsticks, if you know what you're doing, you can pull it off for, um, and it can be very brown girl friendly, but if you don't, I suggest you kick this one to the side and you leave it there because you don't want your lips looking all ashy or looking, looking like you just dived in a bag of powder or something. But this is in the color Pure Hollywood, and I am going to swatch it. It's still pretty. It's kind of like a very beige, baby doll type light color. I'm I'm horrible with describing colors, but it's very pretty. Um, it's just I, in my opinion now. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but in my opinion, a girl of my color, you have to kind of be very careful putting this color on your lips because it's so light and it's not. It's not very friendly, especially on somebody with lips of my size. So, I'm going to try it, but I'm going to try to tone it down really good with a brown lip liner. So, I still like it. I still think it's a beautiful color. I still think you can improvise and use it for something. So, the next one, ooh, kind of looks almost like this last one. This one is in the color Milkshake. And they kind of look similar. Milkshake is, is the bottom one. Imperial Hollywood is the top. And I'm going to swatch Milkshake. It's a little bit brighter than Pure Hollywood. But again, like I said, you have to just know what you're doing and work at it and try to... You know, use a lip color, a uh, lip pencil to try to tone that color down so that it's still very pretty and it suits your skin very well. Now, my Caucasian girls, or you can rock it all day long, but we just have to be very careful with our skin type in this color. But it's still a very beautiful color. It's right there. It's just kind of bright. Even my and see the can um my lighting in here is kind of making it brighter than what it is, which which is still very bright, but the lighting is kind of brightening it up even more. And the last one that I have is in the color electric coral. Now, y'all, this is kind of my favorite one. Also, being that spring is somewhat right around the corner i'm very interested and excited to see how this one will look look on my lips and it's electric coral it is right here electric coral very 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 pretty i think it's i like that one i think that one complements dark skin very very well that's just me that's just my personal opinion i think that that's that's the best looking one for me that one and the um potion which is right here and right here those are my those are my favorite ones they're the ones that i'm very very excited to try which i'm excited to try all of them but i am i'm most excited about those particular colors Anastasia Beverly Hills has been doing it up with the um, products, specifically these liquid lipsticks, because I have been seeing them everywhere. They are the newest thing since shoestring. So, if you're interested in trying them, I would suggest you go to the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. I will link it in the description below. Again, like I said, I'm trying to think of any more specs that I could tell you before you go. Um, the shipping was okay. I, I got two-day shipping, and really, they didn't deliver to the 
fourth day but I think that it was due to weather and everything and the place that they were coming from um it got snowed in so that's why I was a little late but it was still I mean they, they emailed me and talked me all the way through it and my lipsticks made it here safely and when I got them I was still excited I was just as excited and um yeah I mean there's not much I can say. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description box below where you can go and purchase all of these colors. I have, I th yeah, I have a total of eight. There's a total of 20 on the website. I did just check. So, um, they have other colors there that you can go look. But these are the colors that I prefer to try out. And so, I'm very satisfied with my colors. I may go back and get on the website and try to get the others. But I'm going to try these out first and see how, um, see how I like them which I've got good hopes um for them I've heard a lot of good things about them and just the colors that I chose I feel like I made a good selection because all of them you know all of them just about all of them complement my skin tone so I'm very excited about that so again thank you so much for watching this video and like I said if you're interested in the uh, liquid lipsticks just try to um, click the link in the description below and it'll take you straight to the website and you can purchase them there one thing that I will say about them being that I just washed them on my hand and I've also heard they do dry up fast and um as you can see they are they are mattifying lipsticks they don't really dry shiny if you like if you're the type of person that likes that that glossy finish those are probably not gonna be for you if you also the type of person who like a moisturized lip you may want to put a moisturizer either before or after you put the lipsticks on because they do dry down and they do kind of dry out your lips a little bit so um if if you're aggravated with the the matteness the mattifiness of the lipsticks these may not be for you because as you can see on my hand they've been mattified on my hand they're not shiny or glossy at all but I really, really like them, and I'm just so super excited about them. I'll probably wear one of them in my next video. Um, please comment in the description below or thumbs up this video. Please subscribe, comment, whatever you need to do. Give me feedback. Let me know what, what you thought of my first look of the lipsticks. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.